In this video we're going to have a look at finding the area between two curves by integration. So it says the diagram shows parts of the curves, y equals x squared plus 1. So that's the quadratic graph, that's that one there, y equals x squared plus 1. It's always a good idea to label these things in an exam. So the other one must be the other curve, which is y equals 11 minus 9 over x squared. It tells us that they intersect at 1, 2 and 3, 10. So 1, 2 and 3, 10. So it says use integration to find the exact area of the shaded region enclosed between the two curves. So to illustrate what we need to find, I'm just going to do a couple of markings on the diagram. So I'm going to put vertical lines where the two intersect. Now to find the area uh, that's shaded grey, first of all, we need to find the area under the uppermost of the two curves. So this area that I'm highlighting, orange here. We then take the area under the lower of the two curves, again highlighting orange. And that will leave us with the grey area. So to find the area under the uppermost of the two curves, we find the integral of 11 minus 9 over x squared minus 9x to the minus 2. Between the two limits, 3 and 1, the x-coordinate is 3 and 1 at the two boundary points with respect to x. Then we're going to take away the integral Again, between 3 and 1 of the lower of the two curves, which is x squared plus 1 dx. However, what we can actually do is speed things up. We can combine these integrals. We can actually do the subtraction within the integral. So the integral between 3 and 1 of 11 minus 9x to the minus 2. Take x squared plus 1 dx. And that's equal to the integral between 3 and 1 of, well, 11 take 1 is 10, minus 9x to the minus 2, minus x squared dx. We can also do them separately, but this way is quicker, and in my opinion, easier. Okay, so integrating that, we get 10x minus 9x to the minus 1, so add 1 to the power, Divide by the new power, which is minus 1, which turns that minus into a plus. Then take x cubed over 3. And the two limits are 3 and 1. Okay, so now subbing in the limits. And I think it's important that you do this in an exam. Two big empty brackets and just fill them in where the limits haven't been subbed in. There's actually a mark for this. So in the event of a wrong answer... You can actually get marks for doing this. So 10 lots of 3 plus 9 lots of 3 to the minus 1 minus 3 cubed over 3. Then we've got 10 lots of 1 plus 9 lots of 1 to the minus 1 minus 1 cubed over 3. Evaluating that, we get 10 lots of 3 plus 9 lots of 3 to the power of minus 1. Take 3 cubed over 3 equals 24. So 24 is the first bracket. Take... Okay, let's evaluate the second bracket. So, actually, if I recall that working there, I can just replace all the threes in the brackets with ones. Fifty-six over three, which is equal to so twenty-four. Take fifty-six over three. is equal to 16 over 3. And there's our answer. 
Now what we can do to check that answer is check it using the integration button on the calculator. Now I'm assuming that a uh, in detail question like this wouldn't be asked. You wouldn't be asked to do this without showing full working. So I would expect the question to say show full working. But if it doesn't, it's fair game just to use the calculator. So we're going to do the integral of 11 minus 9 over x squared. Between lower limit 1, upper limit 3. Take, let's do it the original way. The integral of x squared plus 1. Lower limit 1, upper limit 3. Equals 16 over 3. So we've confirmed that our answer is correct. For more videos like this, go to a or subscribe to our YouTube channel.